Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, good to see all of you ladies here. And we are sure hoping that we're going to have some people join us on Facebook today as we go live and we do another uh, virtual travel show today. Um, I'm Rachel. If you haven't seen us before, I'm kind of beh the uh, behind the scenes gal. And once we get going, I'll be man in the PowerPoint. So um, hello to you today. As you can see, we've got nearly all the gang here today. Uh, they are excited, ready to go and um, let you know about some of these 2021, 20, 22, and even a few 2023 um, trips, if you can believe it, that we have going out. Um, this is an awesome opportunity today because you are hearing from the very guides who put all the time and research into planning these trips as well as uh, guiding these trips. So um, we certainly hope you can take advantage of this time today. Uh, we also invite you to um, just join in on the conversation with us. If you have a comment or a question or anything, please share it with us. We'd be happy to answer any questions that come up today. Um, they may not be right away, but at the end, um, I'm able to see all the comments and we'll just get to them as soon as we can. So I do wanna thank you for um, joining us today live on Facebook and um, we'll be sure to share um, some replays as uh, we get completed here. But I think, um, at this time, I'm going to hand it off to Rhonda, and I'll get the old PowerPoint up and going. Great. Thanks, Rachel. And good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. We're excited to be here to tell you what we've been working on for our group tours for yet this year and beyond. We do miss coming out and giving our actual travel shows at the different places throughout the state that we've done in the past. But we feel this is the next best thing, just to stay in touch. Um, and we definitely are all looking forward to these tours um, starting to roll again, um, and hopefully in April of this year. So um, I am Rhonda Strutzenberg, the office manager um, located in Fort Dodge. I'm only a phone call away or an email away. Um, been in the travel business for around 35 years now. Um, love what I do, love making um, memories for people and hearing all about the fun times they've had while traveling with us. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let the rest of the staff introduce themselves. We'll start with Kelly. Hi, I'm Kelly Kadarian. <laughs> I love to travel, so I would like to get out there and travel this year. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a few things booked already, don't we? Yes. For you. Yes. Yeah. So, okay. And Deb. Good morning, everybody. Nice to see all of you again. Um, I have missed, this has been a long 12 months, let me tell you, since we've been out on the road going and I'm getting super anxious. Jim and I are both getting super anxious to mm -hmm. get back out there. Um, we're both doing good here, but um, for those of you that don't know me, um, I'm Deb Harkness. I have been in the travel business now for about 15 years. Um, my specialty is that I do the domestic, um, the United States trips, the motor coach tours, um, done several times to Alaska as well, but motor coach tours are my, are my specialty. And we're, we've pretty well traveled the entire United States, you know, from one corner to another. We haven't missed too many nooks and crannies. So um, again, happy to see all of you and looking forward to getting back out on the road with y'all. Hey, Good morning from warm, sunny New Mexico. Terry and I are already back on the road again. Uh, we've been on the road a little bit since August, uh, seeing what's going on out there and how all of our vendors are working and handling everything in our new normal. Uh, we're excited to be starting out our season again for 2021. Lots of fun things planned. Uh, while we've been home, we've been working on things for 21, 22. Uh, going strong. I've been in the business about 30 some years. Uh, started out with my grandmother when I was little riding on motor coach tours and she used to call them bus trips all those years ago. So I've been in this business and taking the trips for a long time and enjoying it. Uh, behind the scenes with me, I also have Judy Butters that works at home. She's got over 30 some years in the travel business. Uh, ex excellent travel uh, 
consultant and she works behind the scenes on all of our trips for Rhonda and I. So greetings, have fun, sit back, have a cup of coffee and watch the presentation. And Paula. Hi, I'm Paula Templemeyer. I'm new to this. I'm a retired school teacher. I taught for 40 years and I love to travel. I've been to Europe, I think eight times and Washington DC at least nine times with students. So looking forward to leading some, escorting some trips and seeing all of you people. Awesome. And we are missing Suzanne Sawyer today. Um, she's also newer to our team, done a lot of extensive traveling with Northland. Um, so. She couldn't be with us today, but um, you will see her face in the future with us as well. Um, and now we'd like to move on and talk about some of our valued partners in travel. We have worked with TravelX um, Insurance Services for well over 20 years. Um, and I think now more than ever, um, people do think more and more about um, having travel insurance to protect their trip investments. So um, with all of our motor coach tours, we do offer the insurance and you'll get um, a complete little flyer um, on what they do offer and cover. And we can also talk about it um, in detail on the phone as you sign up for a tour. And then we belong with Carousel Travel um, as part of Signature Travel Network so that we get all the buying power and the best discounts and deals out there for all of our travelers um, on these motor coach type tours and the individual travel that we book as well. So that's been a great partnership um, that we will continue for a lot of years to come as well. Okay, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about our motor coaches. Um, for those of you that have not traveled with us before, we, um, for the past five or six years, have been using aero um, stage lines for our motor coach carrier. We've been partnered with them um, throughout this time. And like I said, we have been 100% satisfied with them. Um, they do great work. They have experienced drivers. Their buses are all nice buses. Their motor coaches are all nice motor coaches. They're um, nice, comfortable seats in them. Um, they all come with Wi-Fi. So if you're interested in, um, you know, going online while we're on the bus, you can sure do that. Um, they all have electric plug-ins. So you can plug in your phones, your iPads, whatever you need to plug in. Um, our drivers are top notch. They're all experienced drivers, many of them with many, many years of experience um, on the driving these motor coaches. And, um, I will talk a little bit later on on some of these COVID things and how they're, they're right now they're cleaned and it's always they're cleaned and disinfected on a daily basis. And um, this is all thanks to our great drivers that we have. So um, they keep them keep them really clean and really looking good and, and sanitary and all that good stuff. So. And then I'm, we're going to go ahead now and get started talking about our, our motor coach tours. Um, again, like Rhonda briefly mentioned a little bit ago, we're hoping to hit the road um, in April. And our first trip off is going to be Spring Fling in the South. And this is going to be um, April 11th to the 21st. It's an 11 day trip. And we're going to go down into the Louisiana area and um, take in New Orleans. While in New Orleans, we're going to spend a couple of days there. Um, we'll be going and visiting the, the World War II Museum. We'll be doing a city tour while we're there. Um, we're going to give you some free time in the French Quarter. Um, we'll also be taking a Harbor, Harbor Riverboat Cruise while we're there. Um, also on this trip, we're going to spend a little time in the Lafayette, Louisiana area. Spend a couple of days there um, taking in some Cajun country. We're gonna, one of the fun things we're going to do is we're going to go back into the um, bayous and we're going to take a swamp boat tour where you get to go out and see these big huge alligators sunning themselves and we get real up close with them and that's a really neat thing to see. Um, also we're going to be visiting the Biloxi Mississippi area, spend a couple of days there, we'll do a shrimp boat tour there and just a lot of other fun things um, while we're down in that area. So if you're interested in that, why please don't wait to um, get signed up again. It's April 11th to the 21st. And then in May, we're going to um, do the May Mystery Tour. 
that's a three-day trip. I don't have a whole lot to say about that other than it's three days filled with and packed with lots of fun and adventure and surprises. Um, the only thing I want to tell you about that is that everything that's on this tour does happen outside the state of Iowa. So hopefully it'll be all new to you. But again, it's just fun and laughter. And, and I like to do a lot of fun, quirky things on these group trip on these mystery trips. So if you were full of fun and adventure, come join us for that. May 4th to the 6th. And then in June, um, I'm going to do the Minnesota Northwoods trip. And that is scheduled for June 21st to the 27th. That is a seven-day trip. Um, we will be going up to the Duluth area and spending a couple of days up there. Our lodging will be right on the waterfront there, right on the harbor. And um, so you can come and go as you please. While we're in Duluth, um, you'll get to, our hotel is right there by the um, aerial lift bridge. So you'll get to go down there and see some of the ships and cruisers going through the harbor there. And that's really a neat thing to see. So um, also then we'll, after we leave Duluth, we're going to be going up the North Shore Highway. Um, again, this is a highway, if you haven't been up that way before, that's right smack along the Lake Superior. So it's got beautiful views the whole way up through there. And while we're traveling the North Shore Highway, we'll be taking in two harbors. We'll be stopping at Gooseberry Falls and just making a few other fun stops along the way. And then we eventually end up in Ely, Minnesota, which is up in the Boundary Waters area. And um, we're going to spend a couple of days there. We're going to uh, tour the National Wolf Museum while we're there. We're going to visit the International Bear Center while we're there. So, again, lots of fun things. Um, this trip, I do need to tell you, that does have limited availability on it. Um, it's been it's a new tour that I put out this year, and we've had really good response. And in addition to that, people are really getting anxious to travel. So it's filled up pretty fast here in the last few weeks. So if you're thinking of traveling with us on that, why please, please, please get a hold of Rhonda at your very earliest convenience. All right, and then Alaska. We also have a group plan to Alaska for June 8th to the 19th this year. We, um, we do contract groups every year uh, for Alaska, and our partner is Holland America. We've been with them um, for about 30 years. We have a favorite itinerary. With this itinerary, you're going to experience planes, trains, motor coaches, and a cruise. So all sorts of um, transportation. You'll spend eight days on land and end with the four day cruise. Um, I do feel there's a lot more to see inland. So that four day cruise option has been perfect um, for us in our groups. Um, you'll be um, on the McKinley Explorer, which is a domed rail car experience. It's phenomenal. You'll, when you get to Denali National Park, you'll spend a couple nights there. You'll get to do a tundra wilderness tour and go 90 some miles back into the park to see all the wildlife. Um, it's fabulous. You'll get to go as far north as Fairbanks and pan for gold. Um, you also get to go over into the Yukon Territory of Canada on this tour. And we do a Klondike Spirit like a paddle wheel riverboat little afternoon cruise, which is very scenic. Um, you get to also do the White Pass and Yukon Rail, um, which is the old time rail car experience. Yes. Um, that's really neat. And then when you get on board the four days for the cruise ship, um, you'll get to sail in Glacier Bay, which is, um, very, very unique and hear about um, all those glaciers up there. They bring on a DNR um, like specialist on board to tell you about them. Um, it's really, really fun. Um, and then the one port stop is Ketchikan on the cruise. Lots of different um, little excursions and things you can see there. And then we'll fly back home at the end um, this tour does require a passport um, because we do fly home from Vancouver. So um, if you're interested in this, I still have some space left, um, but our contracts will be reviewed um, towards the end of February and they might be pulling some of that space back because Alaska has been pretty popular 
for this year since it was suspended from 2020. So please give me a call and I can help answer any questions on that one. Okay, and then in July, July 12th to the 20th, I have got a nine day trip um, going out to Wyoming. This too was one that was rescheduled from last summer, just about all of these trips that we're doing for next year, um, as far as my motor coach trips are concerned, have all, most of them been rebooked from 2020. So in July, July 12th to the 20th, we're gonna be doing Wyoming. Um, we're going to go out to Yellowstone National Park and, of course, get to see, in, see Old Faithful. Um, we'll have a step-on guide while we're in the park and um, just spend some fun time there and all-day fun time in the park. We'll also be taking in the Grand Tetons, which to me, the Grand Tetons are some of the most beautiful mountain ranges in the whole United States. Um, Jim and I have been fortunate, like I said earlier, to, to travel just about the whole U.S. and seen many, many mountain ranges. And the Grand Tetons, to me, are way up there at the top. And we will be doing a one morning. We go out there kind of early in the morning, and we do a scenic boat, a scenic float trip um, right down through the Grand Tetons, down through the valley on the Snake River, I believe it is. And it's just, it's gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Um, it's so peaceful. It's a what I consider a senior citizen's float trip. There's no white water involved. You just get in and you just nicely float down the river. So it's a super neat thing. Um, also, while we're out there, um, we're going to be visiting Jackson Hole area, spend a couple of days in Jackson Hole. And while we're there, we'll be doing a covered wagon ride, um, horse pulled back into a, a nice, neat valley back in there. Once we get back in there, we'll have a campfire cookout. And they've got some good cowboy music that you'll get to listen to. Um, another place we're going to be visiting and spending a couple of days in is Cody, Wyoming. And um, there, while we're in Cody, we'll be staying at the historic uh, Irma Hotel, which was um, built by Buffalo Bill back in the day. Irma was his daughter, and he named it um, for after her. And it's a very, very historic hotel. They've kept it up you know, really, really neat. And it's a cool place to see. It's right downtown Cody. So we'll be doing some fun things there while we're in Cody, but you'll also have free time to walk the streets of Cody and, and take in some of the souvenir shops and all that fun stuff. So again, it's July 12th to the 20th, um, nine days, and we'd love to have you come visit us and see us. Hey, August 5 to 14, we're going to fly from Des Moines and go to Oregon, our 33rd state and the only state that was ever admitted to the Union on Valentine's Day. We're going to go east and west, coast to coast on the state of Oregon, see so many unique wonders there. Uh, we're to Portland. We're going to do the Columbia River Gorge. We're going to ride a jet boat in Hell's Canyon. Uh, we're going to drive through the Painted Hills and see the John Day fossil beds. We will do Oregon Dunes National Park, ride a dune buggy there, and come up the Cape Scenic Drive, see the lighthouses, take some time with those. I did a 30-minute presentation on this uh, not too long ago. It is on our website. So please go in, learn everything in total detail on what you want to see about Oregon, and join us as we explore the unique wonders of that state. Then August 16th to the 18th, we've got a three-day trip. It's going to be a Mississippi Riverboat cruise um, on a Celebration Bell. We will be starting out um, the first day. It's a three-day trip. We're one full day on the river. And um, the first day when we pick you up in your home pickup points, we're going to go down into southeast Iowa. And um, we will take in some of the Amish and Mennonite villages down there in Van Buren County. Um, they've got a whole cluster of villages there that, that have a lot of fun things to see and do. And you'll have some free time to shop through the Amish stores and all that. And then that night, we will take you up to LeClaire, Iowa. And we'll be staying there to get on board the Celebration Bell first thing the next morning, early the next morning. And then we'll spend all day on there. I think it's like eight or ten hours on the boat. We'll have breakfast, lunch, and dinner all on the boat, um, a big five-course, four-course, five-course meal at supper time, and then um, lots of fun things to do in between. It's a narrated cruise. The whole cruise is a narrated cruise, and also um, they have live music on there, and so it's a big chance to go up on top and see all the beautiful surroundings as we're gradually just leisurely floating down the river. 
And then um, we end up in Dubuque that night and then we will um, stay overnight in Dubuque. And then the next morning, I got a couple of fun things lined up in the Dubuque area as we're starting to head home. There's surprise things. I don't want to spoil the surprises. So we got a couple of surprises planned. So then we'll um, come on home after that. Again, August 16th to the 18th. Then in um, also in August, just about a week later, I'm going to be doing the Indiana Indiana Amish country tour. Um, this tour, I have included this in on some of my Mackinac Island tours before. And um, this section always goes over good. But this year, I want to just concentrate on, on the uh, Shipshawana, Indiana area. So we're going out there and spend five days out there, a day going out and a day coming home. But while we're out there, um, we'll be staying the entire time in the Essen House Inn, um, which is in Middlebury, Indiana. It's an Amish um, beautiful, beautiful Amish complex there that, um, the hotel is great. It has, um, all your Amish furniture, a lot of Amish quilts hanging on the wall, um, and a fantastic Amish restaurant there that you'll get to eat in. So it's just a really neat place to stay. And what's nice is you'll get in there and unpack your suitcase and you won't have to repack it till it's time to come home. While we're there, we're going to be taking in the, uh, have a step on guide every day that we're there, the same one. This gal will take us out and show us the quilt garden tours. Um, she'll explain more of that when we go. One after one morning, we'll be spending at the Shipshawana Flea Market, which um, a good share of that is Amish-related, you know, stuff that they got for sale. One night, excuse me, one night we'll be taking an Amish dinner out right in the Amish home. Um, they also will be giving you, if you want to, an Amish buggy ride right in their own family buggy. Um, after supper that night. Another thing we're going to do is we're going to visit Elkhart, Indiana, which is right there near Shipshawana and, and Middlebury. And um, there's some unique things there in Elkhart as well. So we'll be visit we'll be taking in those. Um, the Brown Bag Amish Country Tour is always a big popular thing on this trip where we go out into the countryside and we will stop at bakery, Amish bakeries and Amish um cheese shops and just a little bit of everything, popcorn shops and all that kind of fun thing. And um, we'll be visiting all of those and just seeing what and getting a little treat at each one of those. Again, I did want to bring up this tour does is another one um, that does have limited availability on it. So if you're at all interested, why call and get your name on the list because um, this is going to be a very popular tour. Again, August 23rd to the 27th. Thank you. Are you next with Poland? I can do Poland or, or Doug can do North Shore. It doesn't matter. Our first air tour going out, our first international tour is going out September 20th to the 29th. Again, air out of Des Moines. We are headed to Poland. It is supposed to be the newest and most spectacular destination in Europe. It's the, it's the country that's home of many, many U, uh, UNESCO heritage sites. We're going to fly into Gdansk, right on the Baltic Sea. It's the home of the largest pier in Europe, uh, St. Mary's, the largest Gothic cathedral. So as you can see, we're going to see a lot of new, really neat things. The country has many, many 14th and 15th century buildings. Uh, the Castle of the Knights of Teutonic Order, Willamucca Castle. Um, it has, we'll see the statue of Frederick Chopin in Warsaw. Uh, as we head down towards Krakow, we're going to shop, stop at Jasna Gorda Mon Monastery. That's the third largest Catholic pilgrimage monastery for when people go. It is also home, if you've seen the movie Monuments Men, it is home of the Black Madonna. So we'll be able to see that. We will tour the Wesleyan salt mines, uh, travel and see all 22 chambers, phenomenal carvings in the salt mines. Uh, Paula with our group's been there and seen it already. Uh, yes, so she, yes. can attest, she can attest to how fantastic it is. We will head on then uh, out of Krakow and we will also do the Auschwitz concentration camp museum, see everything that happened there. And we'll walk the Jewish district where Schindler's List was filmed. We have free air on this, free air into Poland through this coming Friday, January 29th. After that, the air price is going to go up, but it's still going to be a very, very wonderful price 
for going into Europe with that. Pride of Poland, it is a destination, a new destination you really don't want to miss. So come to Poland with us. Then September 9th to the 15th, I'm going to be doing the North Shore Mackinac Island tour. Um, each year I do Mackinac Island, but um, I try and do a different route getting there and coming back home so that those of you that, and we've had several people that visit, like to go to Mackinac Island with us every few years. So we've got a lot of return customers there. It's really a neat, neat place to see. It's very laid back. Um, Mackinac Island has no, as for those of you that have been there before, know that they have no motorized vehicles on the island. So um, you either get around by walking or horse and carriage or bicycles. You can rent bicycles and, and ride around the island. So, But it's just very, very laid back. Um, we will spend two days and nights on the island um, while we are on the island. Our lodging is right downtown on Main Street, just with the waterfront being right across the street. Um, so you've got plenty of time and really easy access to the souvenir shops and the fudge shops and, and the bicycle area and all that. So you've got, and if you want to just sit out in the front porch and watch, be a people watcher why the hotel is Got a nice, big, long porch with rocking chairs that you can sit out there and do that. On our way to Mackinac Island, we're going to be going up um, along the north shore of Wisconsin and taking in some fun things along there. And then as we get into Michigan, we're going to go through the upper peninsula, the UP, and beautiful, beautiful area there, um, eventually ending up over in Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan, where we will do a Sulax boat tour and then go on down to Mackinac City and, and go over to Mackinac Island and spend a couple days there like I talked about. And then coming home, we're going to um, end up in, in Ludington, Michigan, and then we will get on the SS Car Badger Ferry there, and we will take that across Lake Superior or Lake Michigan, and then we will um, end up over in, in um, Manitowoc, Wisconsin. And then we will come on home from there. So, again, it's it's a fun trip. Um, this one, too, has very limited availability. This one was carried over from last year, again, like most of my trips were. And we had good sign up last year. And the few empty spots we had from last year are getting filled real fast this year. So um, make sure and, and get signed up for that if you're at all interested. September 9th to the 15th. It's seven days. Then um, September 30th to October 11th, I do this. This is the Albuquerque, New Mexico Hot Air Balloon Festival. Um, I do this trip every other year, and it is one of my top trips and one of my most favorite trips that I do. Um, it's it's great. We go out and see the spend a couple of days out there at the Hot Air Balloon, the Na International Hot Air Balloon Fiesta in Albuquerque. Um, you'll get to spend two mornings there. Um, we get you up bright and early in the morning so you can get out there and see all of the beautiful hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of balloons as they um, ascend up into the air. You'll see all colors and shapes and sizes. And it's just one of those things that I always say that um, it's kind of like Alaska. You, pictures don't do it justice. You have to be there to see it. It's It's fantastic. And one thing that I added back when we went last in 2019, and we're going to hopefully be able to do it again this year, this year when we go, is that I have given folks the opportunity, if they choose, and this is totally up to you, if you choose, um, give you the opportunity to do a hot air balloon ride while we're there. Like I said, we take two mornings at the festival. The first morning, everybody stays on the ground, and you watch all the balloons launch from the ground. The second day, for those of you that are interested, You'll have the, and this is an extra charge, um, but you will have the opportunity to do a hot air balloon ride if you so choose. So that day, then those of you that choose to do this will get to get up there in the air and you'll get to see, you'll be right all amongst the hundreds and hundreds of other balloons that are flo flying at the same time. So it's quite the sight to see. You'll get, you know, see them from the ground and get to see them from the air both. But again, that's totally up to you and it is definitely an extra charge. After we'll spend those couple of days in Albuquerque and we'll see some other fun things in Albuquerque while we're there as well. And then after we leave there, we're going to um, head over towards the Grand Canyon. We'll be going into Williams, Arizona one night. And then um, the next morning we'll get up bright and early from there and we will catch a train from 
from Williams, Arizona in or to the Grand Canyon. And then once we get to the Grand Canyon, we'll get on a motor coach and have a guided tour of the south rim of the canyon. We'll have lunch there and just give you some time to, to roam around. And then also on this trip, we're going to take in Bryce National Park. Um, that's where the hoodoo, hoodoos are. They're famous for that. Um, really neat rock structures to see. Um, another hidden gem that I always talk about is Antelope Canyon. And I don't want to spoil the surprise there, but that sometimes is almost the highlight of this whole trip. In addition to the, the balloon fiesta is what you get to see there. So I don't want to spoil that. We'll also be on the way going out there. We'll be taking in um, the Route 66 trail, especially down through Oklahoma. So we'll be making some iconic um, stops there. So again, this is September 30th to October 11th. It's going to be a great trip. It's a 12-day trip, but we'd love to have you come join us. Then October 7 to 18, we're headed the opposite direction. We're going east, flying into Boston for Autumn Panorama. Going to spend time in the white and green mountains of Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire, as we take in those beautiful colors uh, and see the leaves on those sugar maples. Uh, while we're in Boston, we'll do a, hyster a historic Boston tour that's going to include the Maparium, where you are going to walk inside the world. We're going to do a couple trains. We're going to do a couple cruises. We're going to have a lobster dinner. Uh, we'll do Kennebunkport, uh, take a tour there. We'll do the Seashore Trolley Museum. Uh, we're going to pick up Fadden's General Store in the Maple Sugar House, the uh, World War II Wright Museum. Then on through Vermont, we're going to do New England's Little Grand Canyon at Keechee Gorge. We'll do the Calvin Coolidge Home and Birthplace, uh, the Shelburne Museum, the world's largest collection of Americana in the Burlington area. We'll do Vermont Country Store. We will have lunch and tour Hildeen, which is Robert Todd Lincoln's home and one of my favorite mansions in the United States. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous scenic place. Then into Boston and we fly back to Des Moines. That's October 7 to 18. Don't miss the fall colors in New England. Okay, then October 21st to the 21st. Excuse me, October 21st to the 31st. <laughs> We're going to do it. Got my tongue tied. We're going to do an 11 day trip down into the southeast, um, especially focusing in on George, southeast Georgia. We're going to spend, we'll first go down into the St. Simons Island, Jekyll Island area down in very southeast um, Georgia. It's just probably about 50 miles north of Jacksonville, Florida, to give you an idea where it's at. And uh, we'll be spending two days and two nights there. Um, we'll have a step on guide while we're there um, from the area and taking in all the highlights. Our lodging will be right on the waterfront while we're there and um, beautiful, beautiful area. And then after we leave there, we're going to go up to Savannah, Georgia and spend a couple of days there. Again, another step on guide will spend a couple of those days with us um, taking in all the highlights of the Savannah area. We're going to have take in some uh, Tybee Island out there. We're going to do some plantation visits on this trip. And then after we leave the Georgia area and start heading back towards home, we're going to come up through um, North Carolina. And we're going to be stopping in Charlotte and spending um, some time at the visiting the Billy Graham Library, uh, which is a really neat place to see. After we leave there, we're going to go over to Asheville, North Carolina. And um, another highlight of the trip is we're going to be visiting the Biltmore Estate. So we'll have um, tours through the Biltmore and we'll have lunch there at the Biltmore. So that's a, a really cool thing to do. Again, that's um, October 21st to the 31st. It's an 11 day trip. Then before you know it, we're into Christmas time again. And we're going to be doing our annual November um, Branson Christmas trip, November 8th to the 11th. It's a four-day trip. We'll be um, some of the highlights of that, the shows we'll be seeing. We'll be seeing the Oak Ridge Boys. Um, we will go to the Sight and Sound Theater and see Jesus live on stage, um, which is a production that's that Sight and Sound Theater. If you've never been there, you kind of sit down in what I like to call a bowl, like, and the whole production takes place all the way around you. It's a live performance. They have hundreds and hundreds of, of um, people that are involved in this, and it's, it's really a neat thing to see. 
and it's a, a Christian thing. And again, this um, year, we have never seen this one before, Jesus Live on Stage, but I have heard fantastic reviews on that. So I think that'll be a, a neat thing to look forward to. We're also going to be taking in Daniel Donnell um, while we're there. Presley's Country Jubilee, if you watch RFD TV on Saturday nights, you usually see them. We'll be going to their show, um, the Hughes Brothers family show. So again, just a fun, we'll take in the Branson Christmas lights while we're there. So um, just a fun, another fun trip. Then early in December, Suzanne and I will be escorting a tour to Kansas City. It's a shopping tour. We're going to shop till we drop. Um, see the holiday lights at the Country Club Plaza, go to Crown Center, KC Union Station. And of course, we're going to find a Kansas City barbecue place. So be fun trip, just a short three day trip, do a lot of shopping and seeing the sights in Kansas City. Like to see you with us. Okay, then in December, um, I'm back on the road again for another Christmas trip, the Nashville Southern Country Christmas, December 4th to the 10th. Um, this is a seven day trip. We'll be going down um, on our way down to Nashville. We will um, stop in Paducah and tour the National Quilt Museum there. And then once we get to Nashville, we'll be staying at the Opryland Hotel for the three nights that we're there. Um, if you've never been there, this is just quite the complex there at Christmas time. They've got a lot, three or four huge atriums within the hotel and they're all decorated for Christmas. So it really, really gets you in the Christmas spirit. And um, when we're there, the first night we get there to the hotel, we're going to see an Oak Ridge Boys dinner show there. Um, and then we will do a tour of downtown, the old, uh, Nash old downtown Nashville. We'll do a city tour there, um, do a barbecue right downtown there. <laughs> and we'll have some free time to kind of roam around there. Um, we will do a General Jackson showboat cruise, while we're, lunch and showboat cruise while we're there. Then after we leave Nashville, we're going to come back up through um, Kentucky and we're going to stop in Louisville and we're going to visit Churchill Downs um, at Christmas time. That's kind of a neat place to see. And then another fun thing that we do that night when we're in Louisville is that we do what's referred to as lights under Louisville. And what this is, is our big old motor coach and everything get to go. They've got several caverns down in that area and um, they have made one cavern totally they filled it with christmas lights like you wouldn't believe it's just thousands and thousands and thousands of christmas lights and decorations and um our believe it or not they've got a paved road through the cavern and believe it or not our big old bus fits in that cavern or fits on that going through that cavern so we'll get to see all those lights sitting right on our warm motor coach and then after we leave louisville we're coming up through peoria and we're gonna um spend a night there um, Peoria, Illinois has one of the Midwest top um, Christmas light displays, and we'll be taking you out through that and letting you see that. So you get plenty of Christmas, Christmas, Christmas while you're on this on this program or on this tour. So you should be in the Christmas spirit when you get home. Okay. Then we're going to um, get into 2022, and we're just going to real briefly tell you about um, a few of our trips that we've got planned for then. Um, Texas was another one that I was supposed to be doing, matter of fact, here in about two weeks' time if COVID wouldn't have come through. But um, we rescheduled it for next year. So I'm going to be doing that February 13th to the 25th of 2022. It's a 13-day trip. It's a very relaxed trip. Um, we're going to be going down to South Padre Island, way down in South Texas, and spending, excuse me, a couple of days and nights there. Um, our lodging is right on the waterfront again there, and um, we'll get we'll do a lot of fun things in South Padre Island. And then after we leave South Padre, we'll come up to San Antonio and spend a couple of days there. Um, again, lodging right on the river walk there. You'll have some free time. We'll do some. A lot of fun things in San Antonio, including going down to the Mission District and and just a lot of other things. We'll have some fun times. When we leave there, we're going to come back up through Waco, Texas, and we will be stopping um, at the Market Silos. Um, if you watch Home and Garden TV channel at all, I'm sure you've seen some of those Joanna Gaines shows on there. She's the one that's got all those uh, shops and stores there in, in Waco. Right now. And then we're also going to stop and visit the George 
Um, H.W. Bush, George Sr. Presidential Library. This is College Station. I'm doing a whole lot more fun things too. So come join us on that if you're interested. It's in February. Uh, another trip that was postponed from this year to next spring is our cherry blossom time in Washington, D.C. We'll be flying out of Des Moines. Um, this is a very active tour because that's the only way to see the sights in D.C. on the National Mall is to walk. We'll be staying in old Alexandria, Virginia, which is a wonderful city, has a lot of quaint little shops and restaurants. We'll take the bus into D.C. one day and go to Arlington National Cemetery, watch Changing of the Guard, and then we will go over and walk to all the different monuments, get up close with them. See the cherry blossoms along the way, along the tidal basin. The next day we'll go back into DC and we will go to the different museums along the National Mall. We'll start with the Holocaust Museum as a group and then you'll be free. And Suzanne and I will be there to help you figure out which ones you want to go to and show you where they are. Because there's so many different museums, um, the archives, the art museums, air and space, there's just too many to get everybody in and spend any amount of time. So we're gonna let you pick your own. Then we'll go up to the Capitol, have a tour of the Capitol, and then back down to our hotel in Alexandria. And the next day we'll head over to Mount Vernon, George Washington's estate, spend the day there. You will have lots of free time, lots of time to wander around Alexandria and try out all the different restaurants. So come join us in spring of 2022, cherry blossom time in Washington, DC. 2022, our first international trip for the year is going to be Australia, New Zealand, and three nights in Fiji coming home. Those of you that have traveled with Terry and I know that when we pick an, especially an international destination, we're gonna make sure you see as much as we can in that destination, really get a feel of it, especially when we've got a long flight to get over there. This is a 30 day trip. However, it's not a fast paced trip. You're gonna have plenty of time on your own, plenty of time to rest up in between. Our air is out of Des Moines. All of your internal flights are also included in our pricing on this. So it's gonna be a real, real good bargain. We're gonna see the Great Barrier Reef. We are gonna do the Aborigine area with Ululu, Ayers Rock. We'll do Adelaide, which is the wine area in the Barbarossa Valley, Mer uh, Melbourne, uh, which has Fitzroy Gardens in it. We'll do Sydney for the Opera House, the Botanical Gardens there. Then over to Tasmania, home of the Tasmanian Devil Conservation Center, and also the oldest penal colony in Australia. From there, we're gonna fly over and we'll do both islands in New Zealand, both islands, north and south. We will cruise the Melbourne Sound. We'll do the geothermal area and Rotorua, uh, And again, pick up the Maori culture with that. On the way home, we're gonna stop over, rest, relax, unwind for three nights in Fiji before we head home. Uh, that is going to be March 20th. We're going to have $500 off on this trip until September of 2021. And on February 2nd, please watch our Northland website. Uh, I'm going to be doing a talk at 10 a.m. on February 2nd about the trip in its entirety. But please think about joining us in Australia, New Zealand. Then on July 28th to August 6th, Canadian Rockies. Uh, our Rockies are spectacular in the U.S. They are much more rugged, much more dramatic when you see them in Canada. We'll be flying into Banff and Calgary and Lake Louise area. We're going to spend some time in Calgary, uh, home of Fort Calgary. There's a great history museum there. Uh, there's a heritage park in Calgary. Then we're going to do Banff, fun little town. We will do Lake Louise with the gorgeous the Chateau Lake Louise. We will go on as far north as Jasper National Park. We're going to ride a snow coach on the Athabasca Glacier. Canadian Rockies, it is going to be a great sight to see very majestic, come to us in Canada. Then in July of 2022, um, we're gonna be, I'm gonna be doing the trains to Colorado. I um, alternate, one year I do Wyoming and one year I do Colorado. And so in 22, I'll be doing Colorado again. Um, I'm gonna do it a little different than I've done before where we're gonna 
highly concentrate on um, doing some trains while we're out there then. I think we're going to be riding about five different trains, if I'm not mistaken. But um, the Durango Silverton, which is the famous, um, beautiful, beautiful train ride. Um, that's like an all day, all day train ride. Um, gets you down into southwest Colorado. We're going to be doing the Cumbrus Toltec train ride, um, the Royal Gorge train ride, Cog Railway train ride that takes us up to the top of um, Pikes Peak. So just just a lot of fun, fun train rides while you're out there. Again, July 20 of 22. Hey, 2022, we're going to rock and roll mid-June of 2022. This, again, is another one of our trips that has been postponed from this year and taken over into 2022 as we're making sure we want to be sure everything is open that we want to see. We're going to do the Motown Museum, the Heidelberg Project, which is a very unique art project in the city, the Ford Picoy Camp plant, uh, plant, excuse me, then on to Cleveland for the Rock and Roll Museum, the Christmas Story House. We're going to relax on the Nautica Queen as we do a dinner cruise and tour the city. Coming back, we're going to hit the, the South Bend Chocolate Factory, the Studebaker Museum. Get ready to rock and roll mid-June of 2022. In September of 2022, we're going to do East Kentucky, where we'll take in some of the Appalachian Mountain area. We're going to do some train rides while we're out there. Um, visiting Butcher Holler, Renfro Valley, which is the bluegrass music capital of the uh, country. Jim Beam Distillery, and numerous other fun things. So we're looking forward to that one in September of 2022. Then back again to another unique, different place to go, South America. On our South America adventure, we're going to be in Brazil, Argentina, and Chile. You're going to see, a, we're going to walk to the rear of Igezu Falls, ride a cogwheel train up to the top of Sugarloaf Mountain, um, we are going to stand next to one of the seven wonders of the modern world, the statue of Christ the Redeemer. Lots of city tours, lots of time in the countryside. We're going to experience the culture of Brazil, Argentina, and Chile, October 2022. And then um, my Ozark tour in October of 2022. This is one that was postponed from this, from last year, 2020. And I couldn't work it in with all the other trips I had to reschedule um, for 21. I couldn't work this one in until next year. So we'll be doing this in the fall of 2022. We'll be going down to Ozarks, um, spending some time in Eureka Springs, doing the outdoor passion play, doing the train ride through the Ozark Mountains, um, and again, spending some time in Eureka Springs. So just a fun, fun little trip. So watch for um, information to come out on that probably late summer, early fall of this year. And then we have another offer that we're um, in the preliminary stages of working on is the Adriatic and Dalmatian coasts, which um, is over in Croatia. It's a unique experience. Um, Angela Essing has worked in our office a couple different times and now she's relocated, but she's still interested in um, guiding this tour for us. She did this tour um, a year or a year and a half ago um, with the intention of doing it for us um, so we could offer it to our travelers. So, but with the COVID situation right now, we are um, still trying to see when that area will be opening up for us before we set an exact time frame. It will be a very limited tour um, in numbers for us because the ship um, that they will be on only has like 19 staterooms. So um, if you're interested at all in that, you can always give me a call and let me know. And then as soon as I have more details, I can get those out to you. Okay, some of other group tours that I've been working on that are in the works. Uh, we're looking at, we're going to do South Africa. As you know, we did Kenya last time that we were in Africa. This time we're gonna do South Africa with a uh, safari adventure. We'll do Kruger National Park, see the big five, elephant, Cape Buffalo, leopards, lions, rhinos. Um, we'll do Cape Town, Cape of Good Hope. We'll also go in uh, to Zimbabwe and see Victoria Falls. That will be South Africa in 23. 23, all, we're also going into Scandinavia, uh, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, Finland quite possibly. Uh, so Scandinavia is in the works. Uh, it's going to be 
fun touching all those countries and seeing the highlights. Then last time we were in the med, we did the Western med and we took you west. This time we're going to take you east. We're going to do Greece and the historic port southeast, which is going to be a very unique area. We're going to visit a couple countries that hopefully are on your bucket list. So keep an eye on 2023 for that med cruise. I think that pretty well wraps up talking about our um, our tours for 2021 and some for 2022. I did want to take just a minute here and talk to you a little bit with COVID being the number one topic, of course, in everybody's minds these days. And um, as I mentioned earlier, our aero motors motor coaches go above and beyond um, as far as making us feel safe while we're on them. Like I said, they're cleaned on a daily basis. Um, they're disinfected every night. Um, so that's always obvious, a super good thing. And what we at Northland are doing for the time being until further notice um, to encourage or to help with social distancing, being we know that's such a, a high priority thing that we need to do these days that we are limiting the numbers on our motor coaches to just 50%. So in other words, we're taking half of what we used to take. So our motor coaches now for the most part will um, be 20 to 25, be limited to 20 to 25 people. Um, I will have like every other seat blocked off so that you know there's always space between you and the, the person ahead of you. And um, we'll be doing that throughout the time um, on my motor coach tours. Also, if you know, I normally, I like to do seat rotation on those buses, but um, until further notice, we won't be doing that. So you'll get to choose the seat. When you get on the bus, you'll get to choose the seat that you would like to sit in the area of the bus, front, middle, back, wherever. And then that will be your um, seat for the entire time that we're on the trip. So that way it limits contact and all that. And I always like to say you can make your own little nest there where you're sitting. So that's how we'll do that for that. Um, we also encourage you to bring your mask. And in this day and age, everybody has their own mask. But um, if you should lose yours or need another one, we will have extra ones that are on the bus. And we will um, be asking you to, to wear those as long as, you know, the CD. We're going by all these CDC and WHO recommendations. Whatever they are recommending at the time of these tours is what the guidelines that we will be following. So um, also in the little package that I give you at the beginning of the trip, they're the kind of the welcome package. We're going to have a little bottle of hand sanitizer in there and um, you can keep, you'll, we'll be asked to keep that with you and use it frequently. And then um, if that runs out or when that runs out, we'll have a big, big jug on the bus also that you can, we'll keep it, keep your little, pocket size refilled with. So um, we shouldn't run out of that. Again, it's just kind of a new way to travel. Um, it's going to be the new normal for the upcoming future. And now that the vaccine's coming out and everybody's going to be getting that here within a short time, why it's time to get back on the road and, and enjoy what we've got out there and see what we want to see and let us let everybody know that it's not stopping us. So with that, I'll turn it over. <laughs> with that, uh, with everything that Deb has mentioned, uh, you're going to see on your screen uh, our our Northland travel disclaimer. Uh, traveling nowadays in our new normal, uh, you're going to find a disclaimer from everybody. Uh, rest assured that not only Northland, but all of our vendors, every place we stop, are following the CDC, the WHO guidelines. Uh, we are trying to make all of our trips as safe and as we possibly can for you. Uh, that is our number one consideration, that you're traveling safely with this. Uh, you know, public spaces, it's gonna be the same as going to the grocery store. We're doing everything we can. I'm sure you're going to be doing everything you can. But please rest assured, uh, like I said, that we are gonna be doing all that for you. We're following the CDC. That's why you're seeing some of these tours rolled into another year to be sure everything's going on. Uh, we're working for you as are all of our vendors to be sure that everybody is safe on these trips. Okay, our real ID, we've been talking about this for a couple years. That is that gold star on your driver's license. Uh, this has been extended to needing that gold star on your driver's license to October of 2021. 
please be sure that you do have that. You are going to need that to fly domestically any place in the United States after October of 2021. Please check with the Iowa DOT. There are certain things you have to bring with your current driver's license in order to have this gold star uh, put on that, uh, that shows your proof of citizenship. So check with the DOT. Uh, lines are long, as you all know, when you renew your driver's license. So be sure you have all the correct information with you at that time. On to passports. Uh, that's always your best identification is your passport. You can't go wrong with it. You know, it proves you're you and that you're a U.S. citizen. Passports at the present time are running seven to 12 weeks at the earliest. If you're looking to get a passport, even a renewal passport, unless you're paying for expedited service, which still right now isn't real expedited. Um, so if it looks like you need your passport renewed, get that application in and get it in soon. Um, it can be done very easily. It can be done up to a year ahead of time. Many of our countries are asking for a passport to be valid six months from the time of return if you're going to be going into a lot of our cruise and international tour destinations. So be sure you've got that those passports done. Take a look at them. Sometimes it surprises you and make sure those passports are up to date, please. And then we'd like you to invite uh, or I'd like to invite you to check out our website frequently, northlandtravel.com. This is where we update with new tours that we're adding throughout the year. Um, we also, in our tour listing, have the Travel Talk series videos that we are doing um, a couple times a month. Those are appended right with the group tour listing. So if you missed out on that um, video, it's recorded and you can check that out along with the full itinerary and details for the trips that we have coming up. Um, we do want to mention that we are still working on um, some tours for later in 2021, some shorter day trips or overnight trips, and we'll be posting those to the website as soon as we get those done. And then also for Facebook, um, we like you to like us on Facebook and check us out there frequently as well. We give you um, lots of virtual information here. For example, our live travel show today, our travel talk series twice a month are there, any vendor presentations for our international trips that Marlia does, you know, we, we post all that on Facebook. We also have a lot of group pictures that we share from tours and since we haven't gone out with a tour in the past year, um, the pictures that are on there are previous to that, but they sure are fun to look at and kind of think about all the memories that you've made with us. So please um, check that out. And one other quick thing on that note, if you're not getting emails from Northland, please call the office to give me your email address or update me with the email address you might currently have because we'll do e-blasts. Um, maybe twice a month or so, not, not, we wouldn't overwhelm you, but um, whenever we get new tours going, we like to um, blast those out to everybody as well. Something new we've started is a Travelcation Club. It's to reward our frequent travelers. As you can see from the slide, depending on how many tour days you go with us, you can get discounts on future tours. This is on a rolling year, so, and we will keep track of it. So for example, if your first trip is in April of this year and between April of this year and April of next year, if you traveled with us 30 days, you could get $100 off a trip in the future. And it goes up to um, 90 days and get up to $300 off a future tour. Just a little reward for our frequent travelers and we'll keep track of all the paperwork. We'll keep track of when you're traveling. And then we'd like to um, also let you know that we are opening up the early booking discounts for any of the group tours um, to, from now till February 10th and adding an additional $25 off per person to those current discounts. Um, just as a little thank you uh, for traveling with Northland and to have something to look forward to. Um, I, I think all of us are ready to get rolling again and um, 
we want you to think of Northland top of mind. We've had some fabulous tour offerings out there for you in the past, as well as in the future. We're working hard for you and we want you to enjoy um, some things. So I think I want to turn it back to Rachel. I think she's got a few questions. Yes. yes. I tell you what, we had a lively bunch today. So thank <laughs> you for that. Um, and good job, ladies. We certainly enjoyed hearing that. Just a, a couple of things that we want, or I would like to mention and uh, maybe get some feedback from some of you guides here. Um, we had a question asked about if you need a passport for Alaska. And um, of course I can, I can answer that one. Um, yes, you do. Um, and Merlia, you gave some great information there about how long they're taking now. So um, again, if you have any issues or questions with passports, definitely I would say reach out to Rhonda and, and she's a great help there. Um, Merlia, Margaret asked, how long is the flight time to Poland? Uh, going to be about seven to eight hours on it. I haven't seen what our stops are going to be. We won't know that until we get the air, but we'll, we'll change planes once and possibly twice on it. Okay, great. Um, and then Greta had asked, and, and we did touch on it uh, there at the end, um, and I think it's a good time just to reiterate this as well, too. Um, there was a question about will the motor coaches still be 50% throughout the 2021 year. Um, go ahead, Deb, if you wanna add a little bit more about that. But Yes, as far as we know, like I had mentioned that until further notice, we will be going at 50% at capacity. So we'll just see, you know, as later in the year progresses, but yeah, as for now, that's, that's the plan. We will be until further notice going at 50% capacity. Perfect. Um, Margaret also wanted to know for the Texas trip, um, will there be an opportunity to parasail? Well, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. um, Margaret, I will have to look into that and we look at the exact detailed um, itinerary that we've got going. You know, if you can line it up, if we can, I can work with you to help you line it up and maybe we can get it in. Again, no promises because we've got a busy schedule while we're down there, but we'll just, we'll see how that goes. Okay. Perfect. Um, Rhonda, I also have um, someone who's reached out and would like um, the trip listing mailed to them. And so I'll get you that information later, but certainly anyone else who would like one, just um, call the office up and, you know, we'd be happy to mail one out to you. Lastly, I don't think we have any more questions, but I thought this would be fun to share with you all. Angela was actually joining us today and oh. she, uh, commented, um, that the Adriatic and Dalmatian coast is a must see. And um, so that was fun to see her comment. And then um, also she just said, thanks for keeping everyone safe with all the CDC regulations. And I think it would be a great um, moment to definitely um, show our appreciation to you guys for doing that because um, it is not an easy feat to try and keep up with all of the new and different regulations, but um, that's what this amazing team is for. Um, they're out there figuring everything out, so you don't have to. <laughs> um, and I think uh, that's it for questions. So I'll, I'll turn it back over. Okay, I would like to just give a quick reminder um, since we're going at the 50% capacity on most all these tours, um, even internationals, um, please, if you're thinking and really wanting to get out there, please know that you can send that deposit in um, and that deposit is refundable generally on all these tours up till the final payment date. So we've already got some tours that are close to being full at the half capacity. Um, and we'll be starting wait lists on those tours. Um, but if you're really wanting to get out and go um, and still maybe a little unsure, you can just be rest assured that you can send a deposit in, call me with a deposit, and that deposit is refundable up to about 45 days prior on the domestic trips and usually about 90 days prior or so on the international cruises. So with that, I wanna thank everybody. Um, for joining us today and welcome you to call um, and inquire about any of these wonderful tours. If I can't answer a question, I'll get you in touch with the tour guide. So thanks everybody. Awesome. Thanks for joining us today. See thanks. you. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, guys. Nice seeing everybody. Bye-bye.